All right, hey guys, welcome back to another Steam tutorial. And uh, today we're gonna be talking about how to uh, enable the Steam Cloud. What is the Steam Cloud? It's uh, pretty much a feature which you can uh, use to uh, save your games, not locally to your, uh, let's say, uh, SSD or your, uh, what's it called, hard drive, but to your, uh, what's it called, to the Steam network. And uh, this will enable you to play um, your Steam games on one computer, two computers, three computers, you know, all over the place, and uh, you can pretty much go where you left off, right? Uh, a lot of different uh, places have this cloud feature. Uh, very famously, uh, phones have this uh, cloud feature where you can save stuff to, um, it's not called the cloud, it's like the Sims card, right? You can save it to the Sims card, and therefore you can, uh, whenever you change phones, you can just, you know, and I'm pretty sure they have their own cloud as well that you can do uh, remotely. But uh, here's how you enable a Steam Cloud. So you go to, uh, to the top, top left right over here, your Steam Launcher. You go to Settings. Once you see Steam, you go Settings. Then you go uh, to Cloud right over here. Uh, what's it called? Right below Downloads. You have to make sure this one is enabled. The second one is talking about screenshots. Uh, whenever you take a screenshot, uh, it'll, like when you're playing a game, it'll open up at the end whenever you exit the game. But uh, I have that one off because sometimes I take backs and screenshots. But um, that's how you do it. Make sure this is enabled. Click OK and you should be good to go. Enable Steam Cloud Synchronizations for applications which support it. Yes, also that's another thing. Um, not all applications support it, but a bunch of them do. Like the top games usually support this. It's, uh, it's a thing most games launch with nowadays if they're going for the Steam option. So uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Hopefully it was hopeful.